how to add calculated fields to reports. Hey, I'm Eric, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a calculated field to a report uh, using just a simple object designer. And when I say field, I actually just mean, mean a, a calculation of any kind, because we are not adding fields in the database, We're just using the field label to explain what it is. Uh, we're just creating a calculation and making that available on a report. You can also do the same thing and make a, a, a calculation available on the screen. Uh, so two different things, the same thing. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do it on a report. And um, I have my Simple Object Designer app open here and you can see there's a bunch of stuff in this one already. And um, I'm gonna use the, the report calculate fields option here. See, I haven't used this yet. So I'll go new. And now I need to select what report I wanna use. So I type invoice and I find my invoice and I think it's 1306, that's the one. The next thing I need to select is, is a data element. And these are the different elements that are on the report. So when, when a report runs, it runs to a lot of data and then it builds out a data set. Um, and data set consists of all these different data items. So let's uh, let's add a field to the header. Um, and we still want to give it a name because we need to select it afterwards and, and it's complicated if it doesn't have a name. Um, so we could call this, um, let, let's create a, so a calculation can be many things. So two plus two, that's a calculation of, of numbers. Uh, a plus B equal AB is a calculation doing text. Today plus one equal tomorrow. That's a calculation with dates. Um, and you can use all these things. Uh, but let, let's um, let's have an uh, expected uh, received date. So clearly that has to be a date. Um, so now I've given it a name and I have defined what type it is uh, and and so so now I cannot do a plus B because now we're calculating in days in dates so the next thing I do is opening the expression uh, editor um, and here I just type my my expression uh, but that might be uh, a bit hard because it's just an empty field and you can type anything in there uh, but we have a cheat sheet and I can see here that it will tell me, hey, you have all these date fields available on the header. So, so let's assume that our sh the way we ship out of, of the central is that the customer will receive the, the, the order five days after we shipped. So we would create a simple calculation saying shipment date plus five. Um, and we can see that we have header.shipment date. So we can take that and now we just kind of created a calculation that says expected receive date equal header.shipment date. If I click verify and say that is okay, that's that's a valid expression. Um, but but let's look a bit more at the cheat sheet and we can see here that there's something that starts with calc date. So we're calculating on dates. And this one says three days after the posting date. So calc date, 3D, and then we are putting in posting date. So I think we can reuse this kind of syntax. So let's grab this in here also, and then I'll just take my header shipment date and replace with posting date here, like that. And then I think we said five days after shipment date. Let's hit verify expression, we're still okay. Perfect. So that's a calculation. Let's create one more before we deploy this thing. So I will just go and grab the same invoice again, but this time let's add something to the line. Um, and how about packaging weight? I, I just came up with that before I started the video. So let's for some reason we need to tell on the invoice how much the packaging weight so that would mean the the difference between gross weight and net weight um, so that will clearly be a decimal so 
So we'll tell you as a, as a decimal, edit expression. And again, I've just used the cheat sheet and see now it's changed because now we're working on decimals. So it gives us a couple of examples of decimals and the decimals fields that we have here. So we can do gross weight minus net weight. Verify expression. Okay. So I exit out of this. I'm done here, so I, I say exit out of this. Now we have two options of actually getting it onto the report. One, we can go here and, and expect the report and embed the report layout into our app. Or we can use custom report layouts afterwards. I think I'm gonna go for the latter just because that's an easier way to show the process. So I'll hit publish, click OK. And now a bunch of stuff is happening. Uh, the first thing that's happening is that the simple object designer starts writing the code because behind the scene you're, you're, you're creating an app and you might not write code uh, but code is needed so what the simple object designer can do is that he can write the code for you so all you saw I had a bunch of fields and I had all sort of things so it's writing the code for all that when that is done it takes all the code that is written and compile that into an app file. When we have the app file, then two things happen. And, and two things happen because I am on the registered uh, version of, of the simple object sign here. The first is that I get a download. So I get the app file downloaded so I can take that app file and move to upload it to my production environment if, if I'm working in, in a sandbox here. Then at the same time of the download, it's also the app is also getting deployed to uh, to this sandbox I'm working on. So we can see that a minute, and I've been chatting along for a minute and almost ten seconds here. So we're just waiting for, and there we go, deployment successful, completely completed successful. So now the app is installed here, but we also have the app file, so we can go and put it on production if we want to. I click OK. And uh, then I go to my custom report layouts. I had a tab open here. But you should always, after you deploy an app, especially if you want to work with repo and so on, make sure that you actually refresh your browser session and reload so your session is running on the latest version of, uh, of your apps. Um, and in this case, I think I will take the sales invoice blue. So the first thing you need to do is we need to use the update layout function. And as when I click this the first time saying, hey, you cannot change this layout. It's already, it's a built-in, but you want a copy instead? Sure. So now I get a copy. The word layout, let's find a copy. It's down here, copy of blue. So by using the update layout function ensures that the Word document has all the new fields that we have created in it. If we just say export, which we'll do in a second, without doing update, then our fields will not show up there. So you have to make sure that you update the layout. Now I can say export and I get a Word file here. I open this one and I do apologize for this being a uh, it's tiny on the screen, um, but let's see if we can make it work anyway. So I have the developer ribbon active if, and we need that. If you do not have the developer ribbon, you need to customize the ribbon and turn on the developer ribbon. In the developer ribbon, I have the XML mapping pane. This is where all the fields are. So we can go here and then let's say expected uh, arrival date. And I will go and then I will find report 1306 over here. I will open header and I will scroll down to E for expected receive date. I think we call it the field header underscore simple object designer. I will insert that as a plain text field. There we go. 
And then we also had a field for the uh, for the line. So I'll just open up the line. It's behind my head right now. Uh, but we can see we have packaging weight sitting up here. So let me get rid of shipment date. Um, so we can use that space instead. So packaging weight. And then down here we will insert packaging weight. Insert control, plain text. There we go. And I think... Just because sometimes I'm, I am neat. I will write justify that one. And then I think I'm done. So we inserted the two fields we created in the report. I will save the random file I have. Then I will go to import layout and I'll grab the file that I just exported. There we go. And let's click run report to test. We'll just run on the very first invoice we have preview oops let's make this bigger Ay, caramba. expected arrival date and we have a date and this is probably I don't know if we're actually printing the, the, the shipping date here now I think we removed that um, but packaging weight two whatever units we have you know, I'm not sure even sure two and, and a half so that's our new fields added to a report. Uh, are not new fields, you calculated fields added to a report. That was uh, in, in 10 minutes, creating two fields and getting them onto uh, two calculations and getting them onto a report. So if you want to try this out yourself, you can uh, go to App Source and, and try out the simple object designer in a, in a sandbox. Uh, all functions are available in the sand, sandbox, but you cannot deploy whatever app you create uh, to a production environment before you have uh, a license uh, for the app. Otherwise, you can try anything in a sandbox. Uh, so there's a link below for, for the app. So good luck creating calculated fields on a report.